Hey guys, this is Cameron with Addicted Fishing and Gone Catching Guide Service. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be explaining what makes a good steelhead float rod. Now the first thing we're gonna talk about is the length of your steelhead rod, because there's a common misnomer that a longer rod equals a better steelhead rod, and it doesn't always prove to be the case. Now if you're fishing like a small creek, or if you're fishing from a small drift boat or a raft, you're not gonna to wanna to have a rod that's 10, 11, 12, even 13 feet long, because you're gonna be tangling it up in the trees, or if you're trying to land a fish in the raft, you're gonna have that rod be too long, and it's gonna make it a little too cumbersome to land the fish. So using a rod that's somewhere around the nine, nine and a half foot range is completely acceptable. Now, if you're fishing big water and you're having to make really long casts and you're trying to fish, you know, maybe 30, 40 yards out from the bank and you're trying to make long sweeping mends, you, the additional length on a longer rod in that 11, 12, and even 13 foot range will help you a lot because you're just gonna be able to keep that line a lot more off the water. So basically, if you don't really know and you're just trying to get into the steelhead fishing, um, honestly, if you could pick up something that's between about nine and a half, ten 10 foot, you would have a good all around rod that you're gonna be able to fish off the bank in some big and small rivers and then also take it into the boat as well. Now, the second attribute we're gonna talk about is the action of the rod because you can have a fast, moderate, and slow action and everything in between. However, a fast action rod, what that means is that the tip is gonna bend and that the power of the rod is gonna transfer into backbone a lot quicker than a slower action rod. In other words, with a fast action rod, only the tip is gonna bend, and with a slower action rod, you're gonna have bend all the way down possibly to the handle of the rod. Now, why is that significant? Because when you're float fishing and you're casting out across the river, you have the opportunity to have a lot of line laying out in the water. And when you see the float drop, you need to have a lot of take up with the rod and you need to have power to set the hook on the fish. Now, if the rod is just really noodly and really soft, when you take up that line of the rod, the rod's gonna give to the fish and you have a lot of slack in the line between what you're mending and also your presentation down below, which is being floated under your bobber. So if you have a lot of take up and you pick that rod up and set the hook and the rod just folds to that, you're not transferring that power to the hook and you might miss your opportunity at the steelhead. Now having a faster action rod that only bends at the tip and has most of the rod be backbone, when you set that hook and you pick that up, the rod's gonna flex less and hopefully you're gonna transfer more of that energy to tighten that line up quicker and to get that hook in the fish. All right guys, so in my hand, I've got the Akuma 9 foot 9, 6 to 12 pound test rated rod. This is a great rod because it's got a moderately fast action tip that only bends about a third of the way down the rod, and then most of the rod is backbone. So like I said, when the bobber goes down and I set the hook, only that tip's gonna bend, and hopefully I'm gonna transfer that energy to the fish. Now I've got a nice soft tip and a nice light rod to fight the fish and have fun with it, but having that extra backbone will result in more fish caught. Now the third aspect of a good steelhead rod, for, especially for the beginners, is using a spinning reel because you're able to open the bale and extend the drift and keeping your hand right there on the spool to just let your line out with your finger pushing on the side of the spool, you're gonna allow that bobber just to dead drift your presentation and not have an effect on it, and that's gonna result in more strikes too. This can be achieved with a casting reel, but honestly, when it comes to casting and it comes to just free spooling that out, your spinning reel is gonna be a lot easier to use for when you're getting started. All right guys, so those are three attributes to selecting a good steelhead float rod. And keep in mind that if you guys are looking for a particular model to start with, I prefer the Guide Select Pro 9'9", 6 to 12. It's the GSP 992 ML. It's a great all around rod. I use it my sled, the raft, and on the bank. And if you guys are looking for just a particular model, this would be one that you'd wanna look at. However, there's lots of great steelhead float rods out there on the market. So just make sure you go out there and look at those attributes, the faster action, the spinning, and also the length that's gonna fit your needs. If you guys like what you see here, be sure to check us out at Addicted Fishing on YouTube. Subscribe down below if you guys haven't already. And also leave us a comment, ask for any other tips, tricks, or tutorials that we can get done for you guys. And we'll see you guys on the water.